what's going on youtube jeans here hope you guys are having an amazing day today we are back bringing you guys part eight for my playthrough on pokemon brilliant diamond and shine and pearl for the nintendo switch so guys you guys are probably sitting here wondering like yo jeans when did you get to the third gym and i will explain right here right now for you guys i was recording part eight originally going through whatever route this is let me see what route it is i was going through this route because we originally ended off right here right in celestian town so we were going up this route and we were heading this way and i was recording and i made it all the way to this gym and when i made it to this gym my whole pc crashed it corrupted my files that i was recording with and we lost all the content so that is where we're sitting at we actually didn't miss much luckily we didn't beat the gym or do anything in it so that's a good sign so in today's video we are actually going to be starting off defeating the third gym and making our way towards the next gym so if you guys are excited make sure you support the channel by smash that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button seriously it goes a long way thank you for all the support that has been going out across the channel it really does go a long way but let's get after it let's hop into this gym and try to grab ourselves another gym badge what's up buddy let's get rocking here but oh something i didn't show was my levels on my team we leveled up a little bit obviously because we did some route training but nothing major really happened so i'm glad if an episode was to be lost it was that it was that we missed out on that route it's all good it is all good it was legit just levels and battle so we were chilling we were chilling but yo let's grab ourselves a third gym badge and let's roll out from there but a lot of people are wondering probably like yo jeans why why is your thing uh why is your computer like all acting weird why is it crashing out it was actually i think it was because of like i had to clean it I opened up like the back panel and everything on my whole PC. I gave it a deep clean and the dust was actually built up pretty good. So hopefully that was the problem. Hopefully it's not something else. And hopefully my PC can be back to work in full strength. We can get all these content out for you guys. But if you guys want to catch extra content from me, you guys already know the deal. Head down like in the description below or the name is right on this layout. Jeans25 on Twitch. We've been streaming a lot. We've been streaming a good amount. We've been streaming like over 20 hours on my extra file beating the game already doing post game stuff doing online battles team building and shiny hunt and pokedex stuff all that so if you guys want to check me out over there catch me live like i said link is down in the description below but our floats is taking some mean damage here let's go floats you got this baby you got this baby water gun's gonna come out here and we should be able to eat up whatever shot he has to throw it's gonna be a nice little rock tomb and we're gonna take some damage and i probably should have bought potions i probably should have went out and bought potions probably would have been a play i don't know if i have any on me but if not we'll definitely head out there go to the mall area and get rocking there with some potions and all that and they do have a lot of tms so if you guys are looking for like the good tms they're up in the mall like third floor something along those lines you guys are about to set up meditate i'm gonna swap into my houndoom here I feel like houndoom needs a little bit of love and he is shiny so we got to get him out here plus i want to show off the rest of the team but i'm waiting for my togepi to actually evolve I'm waiting for my togepi to actually evolve we got to get his friendship up so i gotta start using it more but it's very tough to use it when we're versing gym opponents like this these guys are a lot stronger and togepi can't really do anything that is one thing. I will actually show off my team right here. You guys can see it. We got 29, 33 Torterra. Togepi's up to level 30. We leveled them up a good bit in the last episode or in the uh, video that got corrupted. And then we got Fultzel over here who's level 30. And we did give him Shockwave. We did give Togepi Shockwave just as an extra move so it can hit because it only had ancient power. That only had five moves. It had five PP. Like, come on, man. We ain't going to do much with that. We're going to get like one kill and that's going to be it. Things going to run a Force Palm and that's looking scary. We don't like that. Oh, and it, oh, what is that? What you mean? It's a big old paralyze on us. That might outspeed us now. Hopefully not. He does. He's gonna detect. He's, uh, that might not outspeed us then. I hope it doesn't outspeed us. Cause we gotta go back to the Poke Center. We gotta go back to the Poke Center, and I think I need to go buy some items and stuff. This thing is gonna outspeed us. Can we eat a faint? I think we can. Yeah, faint we could definitely eat. If it was running another four. All right, looks like Houndoom's gonna go down here, and then we might get out Togepi here. Yep, here comes a Force Palm. Later, Houndoom. That is so whack. That is so whack we get paralyzed. But yeah, we definitely need some items and whatnot. We definitely need all that stuff. And something I have to do is actually turn off autosave. I actually have to turn off autosave. Just in case the PC crashes again, we do not lose all the content. I can go back from where we left off and just roll out from there. But we're going to bring out my good old Togepi here. This thing has Force Palm. That's easy eats for Togepi. Look at that. Togepi soaking up in her egg. No eggshell. Shockwave's going to come through here. Can Shockwave kill? It's not stab, but it does kill. Let's go, Togepi. Running Shockwave, getting after it. Getting after it, get all that XP. Level two, or got 249 XP. I was going to say level 249, but that would have been absurd. That would have been absurd, but yeah. I don't think I have a lot of items in my bag. I kind of want to go to the mall. Let's see. Oh, yeah. We got it. Actually, we could just chill here. We do have a revive. We do have potions and stuff. Which, uh, let's, let's see how much farther we can get in here. We'll probably hit up the mall after this, but we got one revive left. Let's do that, and then let's drop a nice, lovely little super potion here. Super potion going out here and let's get this togepi level up man let's get this togepi level up so the objective for this uh 
this gym right here is you have to like solve this little puzzle by pushing all the walls and opening the path up to the gym leader but in order to do that you have to face off with all four of the opponents first there's probably a way to go around it but you know boy likes to verse every single person so that's exactly what we're gonna do he's gonna send out meditate as his first little pokemon and i think togepi can take this one on let's get a little bit of togepi 1v1 action let's get it togi let's get it baby i could charm it but we are just gonna go straight for a shockwave try to get some damage off on this thing he's gonna drop a nice little mind reader i totally forgot what this move does Took aim at Togepi. I mean, his next shot is going to do more damage or something like that. Give me paralyze. I think this move has a chance to paralyze. Oh, no, it just never misses. I do like a good old shockwave. He's going to throw a high jump kick. We should be able to eat that up, but that's still like, that's still a good amount of damage. High jump kick. That's a good amount of damage. Use this. Built. Yeah, one more Togi. What's he going to go for? He's going for another mind reader. And Togepi winning a one-on-one. -on -one. Love to see it. And this should give him enough XP to actually uh, level up. So, fingers crossed for the Evo here. Fingers crossed for the Evo. Level 31 Togepi. Looking for the Evo. Looking for the Evo here. There it is, yo. 31, yo. He's the second highest on my team. We're just trying to get this thing to evolve. Trying to get this thing to evolve. Come on, yo. Right here, right now. It'd be so clutch. It'd be so clutch. Do it. Do it. Oh, my lord, yo. Any you guys got tips for uh, evolving Pokemon or friendship Pokemon? Let me know in the comment section down below. Love to get you guys answers. Love to get it. But let's roll over here. Grab ourselves another battle here. And I would love for... I don't have a fire move on uh, on Houndoom. That could be really good for us, considering uh, it would be super effective up against uh, Lucario. But we do have EQ on our Torterra, which is just wonderful. And this thing hits like a truck. This thing hits like a truck. But actually, I haven't shown off Torterra because we evolved them at the end of the last episode. And then we lost all the content. So this is the first time we're using EQ with Torterra for you guys. And check it out. Look at that. Look at him, yo. He rips. He is ripping out here. Nobody can stop him. Nobody can stop him. I'm glad I actually evolved him and took the time out to actually level him up. Because now he just gets big old damage. He's about to send out another Machoke. I'm just going to EQ it to death. That is the plan. And the final gym in this game is actually electric. So that's going to work out perfectly for this. You can just run and throw it with EQs. So in my other game, I had a Garchomp. And I was just using Bulldozes and running that. And this thing survived that. And he's going to bulk up. That's fine. That is totally fine by me. Let's rip it up with a nice little grass move. But I just think it's like so funny how this thing has a giant tree on its back. Has just doesn't care. It just doesn't care. It's rocking a giant tree on its back with spikes. Looks so sick. Looks so sick. All the starter evolutions are bangers. They're bangers, yo. Love them. There's Houndoom level 30. I think he learns a fire move, right? Let's see. Do it, Houndoom. Wants to learn to move fire fang. Yes, sir. That's big. That is gonna be big. We were just talking about that. But let's get rid of uh let's get rid of beat up. Because, you know, beat-up's kind of a... Beat-up only does, uh, hits uh, the same amount of Pokemon in the opponent's party. So if they have one Pokemon in the party, which, like, most of these guys will have, like, one to two, I'll only hit that amount of times. But Machoke's gonna come out here for the third guy. And we're gonna rip him up. Let's do it. Let's do it. And after this, we only have one more guy. I just gotta make sure I go to the mall after this. And just, just get items. I just need to get items. I need to get... Maybe I can buy a TM for Togepi, which could be good. Maybe I can buy a TM for somebody else. I know they do have, like, Flamethrower, but Houndoom is more so on the physical side. So, we might just keep a uh, Fire Fang on him. Actually, he might be special attacking on this one. Really depends on the uh, nature, really. But we're going to go here, and is Torterra in my front spot? He is, but we're going to switch swap out in the Houndoom here. We are going to swap out in the Houndoom. Give Shiny Houndoom a little bit of loving. He just got his Fire Move. And we'll face off with this last opponent here, and then start pushing walls, solving the puzzle, and beating the third gym. Let's go. Let's go, yo. I'm loving this game, guys. I am absolutely loving this game. Hopefully, you guys are having a blast watching it as much as I am playing it. Because I'm telling you, this is this is this is a lot. Like, I I really do enjoy this game. Like, I beat it already, and I'm doing this is like a second playthrough for me, and I'm still just in love with the gameplay. Everything about it, the underground's fun. Just playing around with these Pokemon, and just like the story behind it too is just it's just all around just fits perfectly. Fits perfectly. Like we were actually talking about like ratings in my stream, and we were all rating it like eight. Oh oh oh. Totally forgot fighting super effective, but we should be able to kill it with a fighting fang or a fire fang. But we were talking about like ratings for us, and everybody was rating it an 8 out of 10 or above. Because this game is just got a lot of replay value. And replay value is such a strong suit when uh when uh talking about a video game. If your game doesn't have replay value, it is like in the trash. You gotta have a game that has replay value after the uh, main game. This game has a lot of replay value, which is really, really good about it. Along with uh the post game being awesome. Being awesome. Everyone says it's really, really good. But he's going to send out a Machop. We're going to get our lovely little floats out here. This floats was a monster. 
I remember when we had a weasel and we were just like, dude, when is this thing going to learn like a water move so we can actually start using it? And now that we have a water move, this thing is just ripping through Pokemon. It just does work. Granted, we don't have a really strong water move. They're kind of weak water moves, but still, they're still doing a lot of damage. Aqua Jet would be considered on the weaker side, but it's a first turn priority and it's pretty hard. It's pretty hard. It ain't bad. It ain't bad. But there we go. Finish off all the trainers. We just got to heal up the squad and then we can face off with the gym leader. Oh no, we got one more. We got one more. All right, Floatzel, you got this. I think like Floatzel and my what's it called are really going to be the, the Pokemon to do work here. Floatzel and Torterra. Because we do not have our flying Pokemon. Usually people have flying Pokemon by now and they just, uh, they're just ripping through the game with it or ripping through this gym with it. Because most people will grab the Starly, obviously, and they'll have a Star Ravia at this point. Maybe even a Star Raptor if they're leveling up enough. And then they'll just rip through it. But, yo, we take some mean damage here. We take some mean damage. There we go. Machoke dead. Let's face off with this gym leader. And I'll teach you guys how to do the puzzle. The puzzle, you kind of just want to work right to left. And open it up the right side, the middle, and then the left. And then you kind of just unlock the puzzle from there. It's really not that hard once you kind of, like, get in the groove or, like, look at it. It's really not bad. But let's use up our super potions. Gotta heal up everybody. Oh, my God. Use one on Togepi. Togepi back up to full health. I think we should be fine here. We gotta use two on Floatzel. Do I use two on Houndoom? I think we do. Let's use two on Houndoom. Okay, I think we should be fine doing this gym. Uh, who do I lead? Who do I lead here? I might lead the... Uh, who should my lead be? I think I might lead the Floatzel here. I think, it's, I think that's a good lead for us. We're going to lead the Floatzel for the gym leader battle here. And I got to turn off autosave. I have to turn off autosave. I'm going to do it right before we... What's it called? Right before... Uh, the gym leader. We should be thriving with that. But what we got to do here is... Uh, do I have to push this open? I think I have to push this side open here. No, we got to get on the other side and push it open. But we got to make our way this way. Push this open here. And then we got to get moving. Then we got move. Got to get moving over here. Like I said, right to left is really the way to do it. Go here. Push that open so that opens up that side there. And now we got to go back this way. And open up that middle once again. And what opening up that middle allows us to do is walk around and get all the way to the top. So right to left we're going to go. We open that up. And then we just push this to slide that open. And there we go. There's that pathway open up. Let's go to the middle now. So the right side's done. Towards the middle. And we can go over this way. And kind of just push this open. So if we push that this way, that'll open up that slot. And then we can go back down this way and push open this slot. And then we go up back through the middle. And we push open this slot. Yes, sir. And now we can go up here and push open this slot. It's all pushing. It's all pushing, baby. Get all the pushes going. And now I want to loop around here. And I want to hit this thing. That'll open up the middle. And then I want to push this thing back. That'll open up that. And that gives us a clear path back towards here. So we can slide open that last one and actually open up this uh, this slot. So we can actually get towards the gym leader. Over here, here. And now we can just make our way. There we go. Told you. Pretty simple, guys. Pretty simple. But like I said, what we got to do, we got to turn off auto save. And I got to kind of figure out how to do that. I'm guessing that's an options. I'm guessing that's an options. Got to be an options, right? Auto save. There it is off wait no off yes off i would like to save these settings yes of course let's do it beautiful dope cool so now if my game crashes we'll just go back to exactly where i started on the recording and i won't have to won't have to uh skip any gameplay but i think we should be fine now because i legit took off my back panel like i was saying and it was just like you could see the dust forming on like exactly where the fans at i was like bro that's gotta be it that's gotta be it so we're we're hoping fingers crossed here but Gym leader Melanie over here. Maylene, Maylene, not Melanie. Maylene over here. She has a Metatite and Lucario, and I think I'm a choke. And I think I'm a choke. We're gonna lead our Floatzel here. Get ripping on this dude. Um, just going through our Aqua Jet. Actually, Water Cup might be a little bit better, but I'm rocking Aqua Jet. Aqua Jet, baby. And we only have one potion. Metatite's gonna go for a flash. That's fine. I'm gonna drop a lovely little flash. That's pretty cool. And drop our evasiveness, right? Our accuracy. Aqua Jet. Well, I should have went for Swift. But Aqua Jet connects. So we got to swap out uh, Floatzel here. We are definitely swapping out Floatzel just so that stat change goes away. I really do not feel like missing shots and losing the battle because of that. But there we go. Machoke is going to fly out here. I am going to switch into... I think Torterra is going to take the cake here. I think we're going to I think we're gonna swap into Torterra here. But I don't want to swap into Houndoom up against this thing. But let's see. Let's see how this one plays out. Torterra getting after Getting after yo, dude, this Pokemon, man. So sick. So sick. And he's bulky up against physical attackers, so that works out really well here. 
This thing's level 27. I'm just going to hit this thing with an EQ. I could growth, but I think EQ should be fine here. We do outspeed. That's lovely. That is lovely. Tor Tower outspeeding somebody, and we bring this thing down to one. And what's he going to go for? He's going to go for a low sweep, which is going to do a good amount of damage. I thought it was going to do more. Oh, he gets a drop on us. We might have to swap Tor Tower. My speed drop. Okay, that don't matter. Speed don't matter. Oh, he uses a hyper potion. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Speed won't matter for us. Maybe the Machoke outspeeds us, but for the Lucario, he outspeeds us regardless. So our speed drop has no effect on us. But we get some HP back there by using a little bit of Mega Drain. And let's go back up to full. And now we're just going to drop yet another EQ to finish this thing off. And we still outspeed. That's awesome. Later, Machoke. Get on out of here. And I'm going to keep Tor Terror in here. Tor Terror is ripping. I definitely want to use the EQ on the Lucario. I might be able to one-shot him with that. We shall see. Get some mean levels there. I could go Togepi. I could honestly go Togepi and yawn the same. But we're not going to do that. But we're not going to do that. We're just going to keep out our Lucario and we're going to roll off from there. We are going to roll off from there. I know we can use like bulk up and stuff, which is scary because once this thing gets like bulked, it can do some mean damage. And he's going to go for a drain punch, which should be able to soak up. Yeah, all day. Look at my Torterra. Look at my Torterra. Just going through it. EQ is going to fly. Can we kill this thing? EQ, baby. Oh my lord, yo. Oh my lord. We don't even need a flying type. We don't even need a flying type. Not gonna lie, Lucario is actually very strong, but with Torterra on the field, we were able to just absolutely murk on it. Togepi gets level oh, 32, and let's learn Double Edge. Yo, heck yeah, you can learn Double Edge. Oh, what do we get rid of? Do we get rid of Charm? Dude, I like this move. We could get rid of uh, Ancient Power. Let's see if we get rid of Ancient Power. Yeah, Ancient Power's going. We're moving that one out the way. There we go. Double Edge instead. Beautiful. There we go. Defeat Gym Leader Maylene and yo, Togepi, evolve. Evolve, Togepi. I want you so bad. I want Togetic. Oh my lord, yo. All right, you know, we're leading, we're leading Togepi throughout this next thing. We are leading Togepi throughout the rest of this game till we evolve this Pokemon. But there we go. We get the Cobble Badge from, from Maylene and yo, my Gym Badges are actually really, really dirty, man. We can now, yo, yo, we can use Fly. We can use Fly. It's actually really good. We get TM60s, which I believe is Drain Punch, right? Is that Drain Punch? Yeah, Drain Punch is a great move. Great move for any fighting type. Love it so much. Love it so much. But let's get a move on here. Let's go back. I want to go to the Mart. Like I said, we got to go get some items. And Dawn is chilling out here. Hey, yo, what up, Dawn? How you doing? How you doing? Hi, Jeans. Please, can you help me? I dropped my Pokedex by accident, and Team Galactic took it. Okay, yeah. Now we got to now we gotta go do Team Galactic stuff and things. That's usually how this game goes. It's like defeat a gym and then go uh, do Team Galactic stuff. But like I said, before we do... Come on, Togepi. You can catch up to me. There you go. Teleports across. But before we do Team Galactic stuff, you know your boys trying to get to that... Uh, trying to get to that uh, mall over here. Let's heal up first. Dude, Togepi level 32. I need it to evolve. I need it to evolve. And people were saying in the comment section down below in my last video that uh, if you carry around a patch of Risu, it will find a uh, shiny stone. I don't know why, but I'm, I'm probably going to go grab this patch of Risu out of my box then. If that's the case. Because that can really come up clutch for us. That can really come up clutch for us. Switch Togepi to the front. And let's go here. Let's go Let's go see the patch of Risu. People are saying, oh wait, I don't even have a patch of Risu, do I? I don't even have one. I got to catch one then. I got to catch one then. But I'm wondering why people are saying that. Does it have like a ability or like... I'm confused. Or can you catch them and they'll magically like sometimes have one for, like a rare chance but let's head to this mall let's go grab some stuff and things we could look for tms but I might come back later here for it you're gonna buy i do really just want potions more so buy like 21 of those get a few revives get a few everything that we need revives uh we'll get like five of these things no five revives don't want to spend all my cash antidotes we definitely need antidotes we definitely need People don't realize how clutch antidotes and like paralyzed heals really are. No, I don't want one. I want like 11. These things are... No, I do not want one. I want like 11. Ready? There we go. 11. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. It's always good to stack up on them. What else do they have in here? Ice heals, full heals, awakenings. Eh, I think we're fine. I think we're fine with the rest. Dope, dope, dope. But I will actually go towards this way right here. And show you guys where TMs are. Because we might buy one. We might buy one over here. You gotta go up to the third floor. You gotta get your cardio in all the way up the escalators. And then this guy right here. This top one sells like uh, light screens and all like support moves. But this bottom one is where it's at. Look at this, yo. Fire Blast, Thunder Blizzard, Focus Blast, Flamethrower, Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, Solar Beam, Psychic. Yo, it's moving. It's learning some good moves. We definitely want Dazzle Gleam here. Definitely want Gleam. 
Uh, what move is up here? That's Ice Beam. What else we got? Gyro Ball, Giga Impact, Hyper Beam. And I think Hyper Beam's the last one. Yeah. And I kind of want to buy... What other moves do I want to buy? I want to buy Flamethrower. I think Flamethrower could be nice. Might give that to Houndoom. Might give that to Houndoom. And then I kind of want to buy Thunderbolt. I don't want to buy Thunderbolt. I really don't want Giga Drain. I don't think Giga Drain we really need. Uh, do they have any water moves here? Blizzard? I don't think they have any water moves. Kind of whack. Now let's just buy Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt! Yo, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Does anybody want to learn some moves? Does anybody want to learn some moves? Let's see. Let's see our Pokemans. Actually, is Togepi part fairy typing? Let's see. Oh, it's just full fairy typing. Cool. We got Dark and Fire. I want to see this thing's stats. So its special attack is higher. We do want to give this thing Flamethrower then. Flamethrower will do way more damage than Fire Fang. So let's uh let's give some TMs up. Here is uh Drain Punch. Here's Dazzling Gleam, which yes, sir, yo, you're getting Dazzling Gleam, Togepi. You are getting Dazzling Gleam. Here you go, mommy. That can actually do some work. Uh, what do we get rid of? Metronome? Yeah, let's just get rid of Double Edge. I do like Double Edge. Look at that. But Metronome's cool. Let's get rid of Charm. Get rid of charm. We, we we won't really use it too much, but so we'll get rid of that. And we are gonna give this Houndoom nice, lovely flamethrower. This thing is all in the special attack board, which is weird. Where's flamethrower at? This flamethrower not thunderbolt. Who can nobody can learn that? And then I buy is this flamethrower? Yeah, it's this flamethrower. Yo, Togepi can learn it too. But we'd rather give it to our shiny houndoom. Let's do it. And what move should we get rid of? Probably Destiny Bond. Yeah, let's get rid of Destiny Bond. So we have a physical attack and fire move. We have a special attack and fire move. Probably going to use special attacking a lot more, but it's weird. I don't know why. I think it's because it's nature that uh, this Houndoom is actually special attacking because the one on my other account is more on the physical side. This thing is plenty full, like plus 30 more special attacking points. I think it's because it's nature, but it is kind of whack because we are going to have like crunch on it. So eh. maybe, we'll, maybe we'll teach it like Dark Pulse or something later. Now that will, that will benefit a lot more from that. But yo, Togepi's here. Got some levels on it. We're leading it. It's got Dazzling Gleam, so it's got a stab move now. Togepi is getting after it. Well, let's talk to Dawn over here. Yes, we will. Of course, we'll help you face off with these Team Galactic Grunts. And we'll rip them up. And it's going to be a double battle. It's going to be a lovely double battle. I always like doing double battles with Dawn. She, I think she has like a Prime Plump now, so that's pretty cool. Let's send it on our boy. And it's 80 base power for Dazzling Gleam. But it's double hitting move. It is double hitting move. Togepi, get on out there. She's gonna throw Clefairy. Come on, you throw out someone who's gonna attack. I want you using my uh my Togepi over here. At least we do have Shockwave on this thing, which is good. Venishock's gonna come out here, and thank God you went after Clefairy. We're both fairy types. We are both fairy types here. Beauty Fly's gonna use an air cutter, go after Clefairy. Oh, that's a double hitting move. That is double hitting move. Gets a crit on the Clefairy. And here comes Togepi's big old shockwave. Oh yes, sir, Togepi, getting after it. What's Clefairy going for? Disarming voice? I don't think it's going to KO. Can it KO the butter, the beauty fly? It does not. Do I take out that thing? I mean, I could go for a gleam. Yeah, I'm going to go for a gleam. Just take out the beauty fly with that and then go from there. Poison powder is going to fly on the Togepi. God dang, man. Togepi taking some damage here, so we're going to have to swap him out after this. That's whack. Air cutter is going to fly. And we're going to dazzle gleam. And I wonder what Clefairy is going to use. Gleam swine through here. That move looks so sick. We get rid of beauty fly. And we get a little bit of damage off on the dust tox. And now we get rolling. We're gonna have to swap. We're gonna have to swap the Togi. Look at that XP. 752? Love to see it. Life do coming out. Okay. I dig it. I dig it. But this thing does have poison move, so. And if he hits me with a Venishock, that's double damage. That's double damage because I am poisoned. So yeah, Togepi, you're gonna have to get swapped. We really don't want you dying. Because I believe if you die, you do lose like friendship points. So keeping your Pokemon alive that you're trying to level up with friendship is really beneficial. Really beneficial. He's going to swap into Stunky, and I'm just going to switch into my Houndoom over here with Flamethrower. That's exactly what we're going to do. Jeans is swapping into that Flamethrower, baby. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Houndoom coming out here. Give me the Sparkle. Give me the Sparkle, baby. Yo, dude, that's so hype that we got that. That is so hype. If you guys want to see the reaction of when we got that, it was episode 6. It will be live. It will be live. Definitely go check it out. It's the end of episode 6. This guy gets a double poison on us. That's a little rough. That's a little rough. Venishock's gonna come out here. That's double damage. That's double damage, but we soak up all day. This Armin voice gonna pop. And I'm just gonna take out this Dust Tox, because this Dust Tox is kind of annoying. This Dust Tox is rather annoying, and it'll give us a good amount of HP. Or not HP, XP. We get hurt by poison. Clefairy's also getting hurt by poison. We thrive here. Let's do it. Flamethrower popping out here. Onto the Dust Tox slot. 
Let's roll. Flamethrower. Yeah, hey, this is gone. He out of here. Big old stab, special attack, and fire move. Gone. Gone, gone, gone. So now that this thing is special attacking, or that I kind of like found out special attacking, I think Flamethrower is definitely the move. And I think we can like TM him for Dark Pulse later in the game. Because he'll eventually learn Crunch as like his strongest dark move, but I think we can replace that with like Dark Pulse, and I think that'll be more beneficial for us. So our voice is going to pop here, and he has one more Pokemon. It's going to be Stunky, and then the one Pokemon on the left side. And Houndoom should be able to clean this one up pretty well. Poison's chipping away. Yo, that was a good poison by him. A double poison? He's going to send out a Krogunk. Okay. I can deal with a Krogunk. I can deal with a Krogunk. We are just going to go for the Flamethrower onto it. If he hits me with a fighting move, he could kill me, but I think we should be able to take it out with one flamethrower, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Get it out of my face. Get Crow Gunk out of my face. We got all that XP. We get, we get moving. Can this thing take out the Stunky? I don't think it can. But I'm going to fly through here. That's easy eats. And what's this thing going to go for? A growl. Come on. Does he know we're recording? We're trying to bring out as much content as we can. Come on, yo. Come on, yo. Get on out of here. Get on out of my face. Clefairy's going to take some poison damage. And I'm surprised the Clefairy's still alive. It took a good amount of damage early on. It took a great amount of damage early on. Flame throw popping. Later, Stunky. That is the end of Team Galactic. And I believe that's all we have to do for right now. And now we can start heading towards the next route. And we, and we still have a little bit of time that I can record with. So I think we are going to head towards the next route. Just for a little bit. Not complete it. But, you know, get, get started with it. We're going to get started with it. Give us your cash. 2600 Mwah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. But yeah, give Dawn her Poke ba Pokedex back. Thank you very much. That's all we That's all we had to do was like walk in here and like go do the Pokedex. Forget it. What's going on? Why is Team Galactic out on the streets? Yeah, go back in your warehouse. Okay. Right. Let's see what she says. She says, oh, we got to go through the, the Pastor City. Right? Is that a goal? Pastor City time? I believe it is. But I could actually get my mystery gift of the, uh, what's it called? Of the uh, Manaphy egg. I still haven't picked that up. I wonder if there's a time limit on that. Because I'd be very upset if I missed it. Definitely should probably do that after we record today. But we can make our way towards Pastora City right here. And before that, we are going to heal up our Pokemon. Alright, we're leading Togepi now. Togepi should be able to do things a lot on her own. She's level 32. This thing's level 32. It's higher than any of the third gym Pokemon. So this thing should be able to do things on its own. It has Dazzling Gleam now. It does have double hit. It does have shockwave, which is lovely. So Pastor City, we are coming on our way. We are on our way. But like I said, I don't think we're going to be able to do it, but we are going to be able to start making our way towards her. Let's go here. We got our first trainer right off the rip. And we do have fly now, right? We can use fly, but I wonder if we got the HM yet. I'm not too sure if we got the HM yet. Let's see. Guess he's going to fly here. Let's go Togepi. Let's go. Love this boat. I love its design, yo. Just Togepi in the egg and then like the cool little egg things on him. Like the little the little triangles. Really cool. He's gonna confuse Raimi. Oh, this one gonna be a long one. I always hate when I'm playing solo player Pokemon and I get confused by an NPC. Like, come on, man. Like, leave me alone. Just let me play. Bro, what you mean? Gonna take some damage there. Let's go back into the shock waves. Just trying to get off as much damage as we can. He is gonna go for a nice little lick. He's probably going to paralyze me. Nope, no paralyze, but we're still confused. Hit through this. Yes, Togepi. Love you. Yo, Big old damage from Togepi. Should be able to snap out from here, I think. He's going to curse itself. And that, I think it's going to kill it, right? Does that kill it? Poor Ghastly. And I wonder if a curse is still on me. I wonder if a curse is still on me when he swaps Pokemon. Well, there's some levels. Floats to 32. You want to learn move? Nope. And we're still confused here. Please don't tell me we hurt ourselves here. Cool. You shockwave, it fails, and curse damage is coming through. So I kind of want to swap Togepi here because curse chips up. It chips up. Let's send out Kadabra. Let's switch into Houndoom. Houndoom can bite that thing in one turn and drop it dead. God dang it. Togepi getting cursed. Losing HP. We'll probably just drop a super potion on it and go from there. Houndoom flying out here. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. And here goes his Kadabs. Here goes his Kadabs. Up a little bite, get him on out of here. This is an easy one shot. Easy one shot. You know, like all the cool Pokemon come from trading. Like I would love to use a lot of Pokemon that come from trading on my team, but it's like, dude, I can't. I don't want to. I don't want to trade off screen. I like to do everything on screen. Cause I would love to have maybe like an Alakazam. I would absolutely love to have a. Uh, well, who should we go into? Mischievous. 
I think, I think we're gonna stick with the Houndoom. But uh, I would love to have like maybe a Magmortar or like Electifier, Rhyperior. Like there's so many cool Sinnoh evolutions in this game that we could have used. But it's just like, nah, we gotta trade for it. And I like to do everything, you know, on camera, on screen. Don't really like to go off screen. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking we might have to uh, evolve Togepi off screen. We might have to, unless he evolves here. 33 Togepi. Togepi, let's go. Let's go. It's time. It's time, yo. Bloom into your next form. Oh, 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 oh. Hate this game so much. I hate it. I hate this game. Let's grab our cherry berries. Grab all these berries over here. I gotta actually remember to come back to this route right here because I think there's a TM on the other side of the water. Get some Pomeg berries. Lovely. Lovely. But our team's coming along pretty solid. Pretty solid. The levels are decent. We need two more Pokemon. But like I said, we won't really get them until a little bit later in the game. One of them isn't until like a lot later. Oh, I should have planned it. One of them isn't until like a lot later. And yo, your boy's low battery. But you guys watch the YouTube channel a lot. Your boy comes always prepared. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. We always come prepared. It's always plugged in. It is always plugged in. Let's plug it in here. Bang, yo. No more low battery. No more low battery. We are thriving. Back to Pokemon grind. I'm surprised this thing lasted this long. Because I haven't charged it since uh, day one. Since day one of this game came, coming out. And I'm not going to lie. I have like... How many hours do I have on this one? Like close to six? And I have like over 20 on my other one. So this controller lasts really long. It, it lasts really long. We take these chests as berries. Let's re replant it. Always got to replant your berries, guys. Always got to replant them. Cherry berries, right? Yeah, cherry berries. Oh, no, it's chest, though. It's fine. It's no big deal. It's no big deal. Let's keep moving on this route right here and versus next trainer right here. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? Oh, and there's a Pokeball over there. Oh, this guy's got some style to him. Even the music. Even the music had style for him. Oh, I didn't heal up my Togepi, man. Just send out a Goldeen. We do have a nice, lovely Shockwave. So hopefully we can kind of just do some big damage on this thing. Let's make it happen. We didn't heal up our Togepi. 46, we should be fine. A lot of people are going to outspeed us. Pex can come through here. That's easy eats, baby. That's easy eats all day for Togepi. We are an egg. Shockwave comes in here. And Togepi's first one hit KO. Togepi ripping. He ripping out here. Let's just keep battling with him. Keep on battling with him. But what I'm gonna try to do before we finish off today's video is get him to 34. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna gamble and go for 34. Look for the evolution of Togepi. Water pulse gonna fly. Yo, Togepi says, yo, that's that's tasty snacky out there. Pretty bulky. He's pretty much soaking up shots, but granted, he's like 10 levels ahead of all, all these guys. Yo, shockwave flying through, yo. Great little coverage move to give this Togepi. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Considering we won't have an electric move on uh or electric Pokemon on our team, it's gonna be great to have a coverage move. It's gonna be great to have a coverage move here. He's gonna go for a horn attack and dude, we eating. We soaking up. Shockwave flying through here. Loving the moves that we're giving Togepi. Oh no! We almost had three perfect uh KOs. Let's so go for a gleam here. Finish this one off. Water pulse. We gotta give this thing a potion. Gotta give Togi a potion. You know, he's doing good on his own. Togi's doing good on his own. Ripping. Lady Goldine. Get on out my game. Get on out my game. But we're just gonna try to get the same level 34 before we do finish off today's video. That's the plan. We could head to the underground to do it. That's usually our hot spot for evolving Pokemon here. Go into a bag. And where's my super potions at? Where's all the potions I bought? Look at that. Here you go, Togi. Happy birthday. Hopefully you feel better. Hopefully you feel better. But let's go this way. Loop around here. And grab ourselves this Pokeball. This Pokeball. But I'm thinking in the next episode, we could definitely do gym number four. Because we're like on our way. We could probably get make our way uh, past this whole route. And then just hop into the gym and finish off the episode after we defeat the gym. And yo, Togi, Togepi can fly there. He can do good there. We got the electric typing. And we have, the, obviously, you know, the grass typing with Torterra. And Ponita's gonna fly out here. And oh, dude, dude, we got we got rid of Ancient Power. We got rid of Ancient Power. Ancient Power would rip on this thing. Ancient Power would do work on this thing. But we're just gonna go into Shockwave here. Like I said, I really just want to go, like, Togepi. I just want to go all out Togepi, battle with it by myself, and just level this thing up. Want my Togetic, man. Want my Togetic. Nice solid damage flying out over there. I said I would say we go for a Gleam, but it's not very effective. Flame Charge gonna fly here. He's gonna get a speed boost. He already outspeeds it, so it don't even matter. It don't even matter. Shockwave flying again. Loving it. That's some good damage. That's some good damage. Shockwave gonna finish this thing off. I probably should have went for a straight double edge. 
or do yeah, double edge would have taken it out. Would have taken it out on the second hit. He's gonna drop our attack again, but yeah, hey, you know, we're all special attacking. Besides uh, double edge, so gotta remember that. Gotta remember that. KO on the Ponita, loving it. Give me that XP. And he's gonna send out another Ponita, which we are just gonna swap. We're just gonna go into Floatzel here. Make life a lot easier. Make life a lot easier. So we're we gonna swap you out, and Floatzel is gonna come in here and just Aqua Jet these things down in one turn. But as you guys can tell, now that we're getting later into the game, we are using all of our Pokemon. We are using absolutely all of our Pokemon here. We're not just like farming with one Pokemon like we've been doing in the past episodes. We've been rolling out strong, swapping out. We got shut off Houndoom today. Torterra obviously is just a beast in all situations. Togepi we're using a lot. And Floatzel here. I mean, that XP and he's going to send out another Bonita. Yes, sir. Trip it up. And yo, that's one Pokemon I want shiny. That is one Pokemon I want shiny. So cool. It's orange and red flames turn blue and white it looks insane same thing with chandelure chandelures is nuts and i wish chandelure was in this game because i love me some chandelure i love me some ghost and fire type chandelure very cool pokemon very cool pokemon let's see who's blocking our path let's keep getting a move on let's go talk to this lady over here howdy how you doing you want to battle you want to battle here do you want to battle and i think after this we might just roll out into the underground we might just roll out to the underground to level up my togepi that's not a Wormadam. This thing's kind of scaring me. We might have to just double edge this thing up. Wormadam could give some good XP. It's a double evolution. It's the second stage, which is great. And I think Dazzling Gleam and Shockwave won't really do much, though. So. You know, we're going to go for a metronome here. We're going to see what we can get cooking up here. Yo, use like Flamethrower, yo. Let's see what you got, Togi. Yo, Flame Wheel. <laughs> Let's go, Togi. Togi ripping. Togi ripping. This thing's going to use Confusion. Yo, dude, that's so sick. Do not confuse me. Cool. And now we're just going to go for a double edge. Togepi running a flame wheel. I love it. Double edge going to be able to pick up the KO. Yo, Togepi OP. Togepi OP. There we go. Let's see how much XP we get for this. Let's get it. 542. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. Actually, we could probably, we could probably do one more uh, trainer on this route. I'm with it. Let's do one more trainer on this route with Togepi right here. And this will be the last trainer we do. And then if we do not get enough XP for levels, we're going to head into this grass or the underground. Maybe the grass. Because we're not too far off. We are not too far off here. Haunter's going to fly. And I'm cool with Haunter. I'm cool. I'm cool with going up against a Haunter. What you want, Haunter? Do I go for a metronome? Do I go for a metronome? Yes. Let's do it. Oh, no. He's cursing. We're going to have to swap. We're going to have to swap. God dang it. We're going to definitely have to swap this thing. Come on, yo. Use something crazy. Use something crazy. Metronome popping, yo. I can't believe you used Flame Wheel last time. I'm gonna use Super Power. It's not gonna affect him. God dang it. I was excited for that one. That's a strong move. That is a strong move. Super Power. <clears throat> Let's swap out. Let's go into Houndoom here. Houndoom gonna be able to trash on this thing. But yo, this thing's using some banger moves in Metronome. Flame Wheel and Super Power? If that thing was anything but a ghost type, we would have did some big old damage. We did some big old damage. We swap this thing. It's just going to drop confused rays. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Let's see what happens here. Go here. Right into the bite here. Get him. Come on. Land this, Houndoom. Land it. No need to hurt yourself. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Houndoom coming in clutch. Later, Haunter. Might swap the Houndoom now, too. Might swap the Houndoom. How much XP is Togepi going to get here? Togepi getting up there. It's getting up there. That's sent out a Kadabra. I'm going to keep Houndoom out here and say that the Confusion is not going to hit us. We're going to test our luck. We are testing our luck here. Go for another bite. Hit it. Land it, Houndoom. You're the best. You're shiny, too. Son of a biscuit, man. What you mean? This thing's going to drop a nice little disable. He's going to disable my bite? He's going to disable my bite. We don't like. We don't like one bit. And, of course, we don't have beat up anymore. But Flamethrower should be able to do a good chunk of damage here. Maybe KO it. Houndoom, what are you doing? What are you doing? I think he's now going to go into a Kinesis. You know, chill on me, man, with his spoons. He's bending spoons on me. He's bending spoons. He's going to drop my accuracy. Better land this, yo. You're still confused? There you go, Flamethrower. What you mean? My accuracy. <laughs> but I think that was just his, uh, what's it called? I think that was just his evasiveness because he dodged it. It wasn't like we missed our attack. Flamethrower comes out here. Finally. 
They pick up the Kaolin Cadaver and his Togepi going to level up. Close. Let's head into this grass here. Let's head to this grass. Let's finish off this episode by leveling up Togepi. By leveling up this lovely little Togepi. Yo, here. Let's give it a potion. Make sure it's going to stay alive here. You know it's at 26 HP. And Togepi with the levels, man. With the levels. There's a Pokeball over here, but like I said, grass time. Give me some, give me some Pokemon. Do we have to fight a trainer down here? I do not want to fight another trainer. I just want to kind of float around the grass. And yeah, we got a Ponita. I don't think we caught one yet, so I'll definitely catch it for the Pokedex. We'll get XP that way. It's just great all around. It's just a win-win. Yeah. All right, so uh, let's go into a Shockwave here. Can you use Tail Whip? Drop my defense. Hey, yo, chill on me. Chill on me, Ponita. Oh, that's probably what I should have done. I probably should have bought some Pokeballs. When we get the po to the Pokemon in the next town, gotta start buying some Ultra Balls and stuff. We get a crit there. That's lovely. We can hit this thing up again with the Shockwave. Gonna use another Tail Whip, which is fine. Just drop my defense. Just drop my defense. It's all good. It is all good. Shockwave. But what do you guys think of the, of the length of these episodes, of these videos? Do you think they're a good length? Because I don't really want to go over 45. I kind of want to keep it like the 30 to 40 range. I think that's a good length. So let me know in the comment section down below if you guys are liking the length of the videos. Or if I should make them longer or shorter. Really, really benefit me. You guys' feedback. But we catch Ponita. And Togepi is so close to Bob. We just got to like get a KO. We just got to get a KO with him. Let's do it. Let's do it, Togi. Hello, Togi. How you doing? Let's do it right here. There's still a few other trainers on the route that we will do. Uh, that we will do in the next episode. So like I said, this route's not that long. We can legit just walk down and go do the fourth gym. But I'm gonna actually run this Geodude because I don't think we can kill it. I don't think we can kill the Geodude. It's just gonna be a long process. I'd rather just run and find a different Pokemon. Let's walk around this grass. What we got? What we got cooking here? All right, yo. I'll take on a Stunky. Even though it is poison type, we still gonna take it on. Hit this thing up with some shockwaves, and this is what my Togepi's gonna evolve on. By killing a nice little Stunky. Use my Dazzling Gleams because it is stab. Oh, this thing's rocking bite. This thing's rocking bite. It's not very effective. Togi says, yo, that's a, that's a snack. That's a snack. Gleam's gonna pop here. And Gleam doing damage, yo. Loving Togepi now. It can just hold its own. Like, Togepi can just hold its own. Like, back in the other episodes, it was legit just, like, standing there. We would have to swap them out. It couldn't do anything. It could not do anything. But Dazzling Gleam's gonna pop out here. Pick up the KO. And should be able to level, level us up. More importantly, should be able to evolve us. Togepi, 34. Yo, it's time to evolve, Togepi. It's time to evolve. Come on, show it to me. Oh my lord, yo. Togepi, what is going on? What is going on? That thing is not evolving. Might have to do it off screen. I really don't want to, but I'm definitely going to look up ways to raise my friendliness level and maybe try to get this thing to evolve in the next episode. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. As in the next episode, we're going to be finishing up this route and probably completing the fourth gym, which is the water gym. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.